All right, guys, how's it going? It's been a hot minute. I know. Welcome. Finally, I've got a video out and it's 2022. But this is going to be a special one since I've been kind of sick and things aren't, you know, I'm not super 100% uh, healthy yet. So what better way to start off this year with than the worst units of Empire? And uh, as you can see here, we're going to tier list them out. And in this tier list, figured we'd start off with just like throw them out like they're kind of trash is level like the the best level uh, then the the next level we're gonna go up a scale like a mighty scale to hoarder's house you know the ones the hoarder's houses yeah that's the level we're talking here guys so level two is this type Level one is, yeah, we're just going to throw out the trash. Level two, this this is how it gets. All right. And then level three is the septic tank exploded. And okay, here we go. Septic tank disasters. Yeah, this is, this is the kind of stuff we're talking here. All right, <laughs> not that bad. It didn't blow the house off, but you, you get the drift. All right, so that's level three. All right, level four, a dead animal in the exploded septic tank. So taking it up another level, okay? Just consider a, a dead animal corpse, like a deer corpse in there, all right? And then level five is going to be a dead animal in the exploded septic tank in a hoarder's house. Okay. So that's what you get for the worst level. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think we really need to go in that deeper. I'd hate to get in that deeper. Anyways, let's, let's just get to it. All right. So let's start off with the Austrian line infantry. They make the list guys. The Austrian line infantry, when when you're when you're the basic line infantry unit and you're so bad, yeah, you're gonna get put on this list. All right, so Austrian line infantry. I'm really debating where to put these guys at. I mean, they do have 150 men for the large size, so I mean that's giving them something. So at least they got some manpower. Um, I think we're just gonna throw them out all right and the next unit yeah we're gonna go here mortars you know what mortars are gonna make the list not not maybe necessarily because they're a terrible unit but because you got to be completely lazy to use them in your armies if you're uh if you're playing really lazy lazy unit I mean, they're not horrible, but we're going to put them in Hoarder's House because you, you got to be a, a hot mess of a player to use mortars. Uh, you know, maybe I could consider them not being terrible because the AI uses them. But even then, they don't even use them that great. They'll be using solid shots. So, yeah, they don't really get much love on that one. All right, next is Puckle Gun. The gun that, in theory, seems like it would be great. Uh gatling gun type of unit almost like the machine gun of its day in theory it sounds great in practice it just doesn't work out it's very slow you don't get as that many shots by the time you know it the enemy is upon you and it's already a dead unit because moving it is hella atrocious you can't take them off the damn puckle gun and put them back on so once you take them off of it there you can't use it again so i don't know i i think puckle guns they're they're real we're gonna put them at septic tank exploded okay that's where they're gonna go all right next rockets oh nelly and you know what 
I'm sure there's somebody watching this video that thinks rockets are great. Rockets. They're going to be the dead animal in the exploded septic tank in the hoarder's house. Yeah, they're going the, bat, the bottom. Rockets, they're so bad. They're so bad, you get no kills out of them. They're just a little flashy. You get a little show from them. Little sparkles. Like little fireworks. Little fireworks going off everywhere. Yeah, that's about as good as you get out of them. Dead animal and exploded septic tank in a hoarder's house. All right, next is conscripts. Conscripts, the expensive, expensive militia unit that only gets like three ammo. So then they're just a, a glorified melee unit that's not even that great. Low morale. Yeah, that's not really that great of a unit. We're going to... I don't know. I don't really have much use for them. We're going to put them dead animal in the exploded septic tank. I don't know that they're the worst unit ever, but they're definitely up there with it. All right, next up, we're going to go with the Ottomans' little pitchfork guys, the Muslims. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty terrible. Yeah, you can put this in your army if you want to mass route your whole army. Because uh, with three morale... And only two charge bonus for a melee unit. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Maybe they only have two forks on their pitchfork, so they get one bonus for each little fork on their pitchfork. Yeah, they're pretty terrible. Like I said, you put these guys in your army, you're going to risk giving yourself a mass route. So they're going to be the lowest. Dead animal in the exploded septic tank in a hoarder's house. Yeah, that's where they're going. And yeah, we'll put the the landless rabble for the Marathas in there too. You know the ones. Exactly the same as the Muslims. They're terrible. All right. Next up, Russian line infantry. Yeah, they're making this list too. At least they do have seven morale. But with, uh, with having such a bad accuracy... Only 35. And then top that off with uh, the slowest reload in the game. Oh, they're awful. They're awful. But at least they have decent melee attack. But they got horrible, horrible melee defense. Yeah, they're going to go in the hoarder's house. You definitely uh, don't want to get too many Russian line to depend on. You're you're stuck in a very specific way of using them. Picking on the the Russians, we're gonna go with the ham mortars. Yeah, the Ottomans get them too. They're just as bad with the Ottomans, but the same thing. The mortar ham mortar units, they're really terrible. You know, very low morale. I mean, very not low morale. The morale's decent. Melee's decent. You know what? Isn't decent. The damn ham orders. They're horrible. They're they're not really that fast to shoot. They frankly only kill a little bit. So you got 60 men. That's uh the price of a damn grenadier unit. Minus about 10 bucks. And then you only get six ammo out of them. Six. Not 15. Six. Talk about a ripoff. You know, Jesus Christ, at least give them a musket too. And give them some ammo with that. They give them a little special. But no, they get nothing. They get the stupid ham order and that's it. And they're they're so bad. They're so bad. Horrible. They're going in the exploded septic tank. Because you at least, I don't know. I don't know what you see. I mean, I want to dump them down. It's a dead animal in the exploded tank. They're terrible. I hate them. All right, next up. This is a special unit. Very special. The native artillery unit. I mean, what the hell? Native artillery unit. Yeah, they don't even get canister shot. That's how bad they are. They don't even have faith that the natives can figure out how to change the shots. From solid shot to canister. I don't even think they're smart enough to do that. So all you get is a solid shot. 
and it's a fixed artillery. Yeah, the natives, they're not smart enough to move them. That's how they feel about them. They can't hook up horses and, you know, even though, hell, they're, some of the tribes were expert horsemen. They can't figure out how to hook up horses to a piece of artillery because they've never seen them, you know, anybody else do it. Nobody trained them how to do it. Come on, give me a break. They're terrible. Why, why would you bring, why would you bring a native artillery in your army if you're a native faction? Explain that one to me. Explain how that is a good idea. You lose a really good unit bringing this shit unit. Somebody in the comics explain that one to me. Ah, oh, this is in the last one. Dead animal in the exploded septic tank in a hoarder's house. That's how bad that unit is. You gotta be really stupid to bring it. Really, really stupid. If you've done it, don't say it in the comments. Don't, don't say in the comments that you've used the uh, native artillery. I don't want you to embarrass yourself. Please. I beg you, don't do it. Anyways, this is my list. Yeah, I got another one, but it's the Russian line infantry again. So I just went with 10. It's all I could bear to do. It's all I could bear, guys. I'm sorry. I can't do anymore. It make, it's making me ill. It's making me ill. So we're going to stop here before I really get sick. And uh, we'll pick up with another video soon. I hope you guys did enjoy this. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again, guys.